John Silic is the guy who in 1987 was crushed between two whales at SeaWorld of San Diego. Now, um, even though I'd been working at SeaWorld for six months, I had no idea that that had even happened. I never even heard that story. And the SeaWorld party line was that, well, that was, it was a trainer error. It was John's fault, you know, John's fault. He was supposed to get off that whale. And for years, I believed that, and I told people that. I actually started SeaWorld like five days after that event occurred, and, um, we didn't, we weren't told much about it other than it was trainer error. Um, and, you know, especially when you're new into the program, you don't really question a whole lot. Well, you know, years later, when you actually look at the footage, you go, you know what, he didn't do anything wrong. That whale just landed on him, you know? That whale just went to the wrong spot, or it, w it could have been aggression, who knows? But it was not the trainer's fault at all, you know, watching that video. When I saw the video of the killer whale landing on John, I mean, it just absolutely took my breath away. I gasped. You know, the, I watched it two or three times, and every time I saw that, I just gasped. I could not believe what I was seeing. What kept his body together is that, you know, his, his wetsuit basically held him together. But I know he's had multiple surgeries, and he's got tons of hardware in his body. And it's hard for me to believe that I didn't actually see that video while I was actually an animal trainer, because it seems to me that every person who works with killer whales should have to watch that video.